Besides the love of your craft, do you have any other tangible advice for aspiring filmmakers? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, uh, now there's no there's no boundaries anymore. When I started out, there was these like VHS cameras that looked like shit. Then you had to rent them, and it's really hard editing and all that. But now you you can do everything with your phone. So it's it's more about are you lazy or not, and invest in good sound because you already have the uh, the uh, the craft in your mobile. And if you want to upgrade, all the cameras are good nowadays. So you can make a feature film with no money if you just learn how to be a really good storyteller and uh, try to figure out what you're good at, what your strength is. Uh, I made my first feature film when I was 15. Oh, wow. and, I, and I became the youngest uh, in Scandinavian history to, ma to make a feature film then. Uh, and I didn't know what to do, but... I discovered my strength was I made a I made a Western movie, which is like they done like two in Sweden before, and uh, it's shit. <laughs> it's horrible. But there was some emotional scenes, like when we had, when we had the opening. When I was fifteen, I just looked over the theater, and there was uh, ha half of the audience in these emotional scenes were crying, and I was like, <sighs> there was like discovering your super strength. Like, oh, okay, I, I, can, I can move people. So, so that's my strength. But I still have a lot to learn about how to make it look good and how to, how to work with the actors and sound and, and all that stuff. But now I know what I can do and just try to build on that and just keep making movies. Because your first movies are going to be not that great. Uh, but the next one's got to be a little bit better. You're not going to make your masterpiece on your first try. And the sooner you start, the better. And my biggest is advice is finish the movie because there's so many movies that die in post because people get lazy or they don't, they don't know what to do or it didn't turn out the way you want it to be. Newsflash, movies never turn out the way you want it to be. Nothing in life turns out the way you imagine it. I mean, if you think about it. So uh, just keep getting better for the next one and and release the movie somehow. Because if, if you let it die in post, none of these people want to work with you the next time. So, uh, and, and treat the people that works for you really nicely and, and do favors for them. I mean, I get, I get people to, to work for free for me all the time because they know I pay them, pay them back and other stuff. Like, uh, like my composer did uh, like three movies for me for free and I, I got him the gig on the Seagal movie and, and my editor worked for, for free and I got him to do like you know, Hollywood trailers uh, through my contacts and stuff. So, so uh, we just help each other out. So, so, so be a helper. Don't let people use you and don't use people. Just be a cool guy or girl. And uh, that's the only way to do it. Just be a cool cat and keep making cool stuff and, and make friends. And that's all you need, man. I think that's good advice, honestly, for just about everything in life. Is uh... To end this, I want to just, if you guys make movies out there and you're watching this, what are you doing watching me for? Go and grab your camera and go out and film your dream movie. Start your day. Just take a little baby step. Don't sit around and watch TV. Make TV. Do it. Follow your dreams. Go, go, go. Turn this shit off. Go, 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 go make out of here and go make my own thing right now. <laughs>